Hi guys. Oh <clears throat> my god, what was that? <clears throat> <clears throat> what was that? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're just gonna get ready and just chit chat. If you guys want to have a little one-on-one -on -one girlfriend conversation chit chat then keep on watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and let's get into it. I am actually filming this video on 4th of July. I'm on my way, well I'm going to a friend's house couple of us are hanging out and eating and playing games you know the huge thought I would start filming as I get ready because I want to do a full face I haven't done a full face of makeup in a while figured I have much to catch up on as far as a wedding stuff so I found this in my stash this is the skin tone or skin tune from Forsali and we're gonna use it i haven't used it in a minute i think i tried it once or twice i try it out i was going through my makeup because i want to be inspired again and i seen this and i was like oh i don't think we tried this i just don't know this brand it's for Sally. i would put the creators of the brand here i actually followed farah for a long time and then she stopped doing youtube and she did vlogs with her husband i know them well i watched them and i remember seeing like years ago this brand fasali and i saw her husband on the cover and i was like oh, they came out with a makeup brand that is so freaking awesome so i'm gonna go in with the fasali this is the moisturized replenish serum so we're gonna really set my base up today as a good base. You guys are in my area. I don't know if this is everywhere, but Sheets Gas is $1.77 today. $1.77. Sucks because I literally just filled up my tank like a couple days ago. I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Daily Moisturizer. Let's talk about wedding. No, if you guys have checked out my latest wedding series of videos, I will put them somewhere on the screen. Definitely check them out. You guys, I got my wedding dress. <gasps> I got my wedding dress. Been up with a the hydrating theme. I'm going in with the Too Faced Hangover. So you guys, like I said, I got my wedding dress. <sighs> First of all, the whole experience was just like an outer body experience. I was on such a high, like we went to lunch afterwards and I couldn't even eat because my emotions and my adrenaline was just pumping. I had booked this in, I believe, March, but I was gonna go in June. And they had called me the night before just to finalize that I was coming in. And it was so funny because they asked how many people we're going to be present and i was like um I have about 10 people with me funny thing is is you guys i used to watch the yes to the dress my fair wedding or weddings i used to watch all of those shows on tlc i would always say like when i would go for my wedding dress i'm only gonna have my mom my sister and my grandmother i was like i'm not having all those people because that's just ridiculous there's too many opinions and it's just way too much like i'd rather it be simple intimate and yeah i did the complete opposite i went in with 10 people and <laughs> oh, i will say shout out to david's bridal because the coordinator that we had or the consultant was so freaking amazing oh my gosh guys she like she was young so like she was just hip i can't explain it and she was just like girl or she was like babe do you want me to help you and i'm like oh my god this girl is my soulmate she was she made the experience so much better. She was my hype man, like along with everybody else that came with me. Like she was the hype girl. I end up bringing my mom, my sister, who is a bridesmaid, my grandmother. I brought my other bridesmaids, Tara, Michelle, and my maid of honor, Michelle. I also brought my mother-in-law and I brought my sister-in-law who's a bridesmaid and my other sister-in-law and her daughter. Eddie's older sister was also supposed to come as well. 
but she was sick. Only one that was missing that's so upsetting was my matron of honor, Stacy. She lives in Vegas, but you know, she was there in spirit. As soon as I got done, I sent her videos and pictures and yeah. I'm going in, I haven't used this yet. I'm so excited for this. This is the Easy Drop Blurring Skin Tint in 20. I don't know if it's gonna match. And then I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Flawless Filter. So let me do this first. So yeah, I went in there and not expecting to find my dress, to be honest, because I looked so long online for so many months and I didn't find anything that I liked. Like I couldn't find anything that I liked and I was just like, mm, this is cute. This is cute. This is cute, but it's like, is it my wedding dress? Oh, this is a nice color. Oh, I don't want to get it on me. Yeah, I went in there with an open mind. I really didn't have a set style other than I knew I didn't want to have a mermaid dress just because my body type. And I also didn't want to have strapless because I'm so top heavy. It just, I would be pulling it up all night. All that jazz. It just would have been not comfortable that's what i went in with i went in with just like an open mind thinking okay i'll find something possibly if not we can go another day i will say i'm not gonna tell you my budget because well actually i don't fucking care my budget was 1500 okay my budget was 1500 that's with the wedding dress and the veil i really didn't want to spend um so much on dress i knew like for one i'm only going to wear it that one day and two i am possibly going to change at the reception into a different dress preferably a black dress i didn't want to spend too much money on it end up going in like that and we got a couple of dress off the rack like it's just like you know we'll try on the ones um we'll see how you feel a little bit more of the skin tint end up trying on about six or seven dresses a lot of it was just like mm, it was okay i did try on a dress that my mom picked out my mom showed me because i had the girls on a mission of what i wanted so she showed me the dress and i was like all right put that in the pile i'll try it on i tried on about six or seven dresses and the dress that I end up choosing happened to be the one that my mom picked out and it happened to be the second dress that I tried on. I'm gonna go in with Juvia's Place concealers. This is in 12 and 14. Um, this is the first time I'm using these, I think. I told you, I, I'm doing a shot my stash kind of because I have so much makeup. Sometimes it's hard to use it all and also i get in like a routine where i use the same stuff over and over so i tend to forget that i have some stuff i was like okay this is cute i actually like it more so than the other ones I end up trying on like a fourth or fifth dress and i was like okay i actually like this one as well so i tried them both back on with veils i tried on the second one with the veils and i was like that's it this is my dress i tried on three veils with it i picked the last veil because the last veil matches so beautifully i'm not gonna say like any details but i will say the veil is cathedral and that's all you need to know it is so gorgeous like she's like is this your dress and I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes. So she asks a series of questions. And mind you, we're not the only ones there. There's another family there or two other families there. So she asks me, is, you know, what's my fiance's name? Is he the man of my dreams? Is he the one? Is this your dress? Make wishes of what you want. And I made a wish. I'm not going to say it because we'll see if it comes true. I run that bell, girls. I run that bell. I got my dress. I got my dress. Whew, I'm so... This is like really heavy. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be like this heavy, but she's looking good. Here I am. I'm like, I'm going to do light makeup today because, you know, I'm just going to be in the house. I'm not going to be like all up in people's faces. It's never light makeup with me. I went in with Rare Beauty. This is in love. This is by far my favorite, favorite shade. I rung that bell and then I end up turning around and ringing that bell for a good more measure. Good more measure? I don't know. Good measure? Whatever. And yeah, so 
I was there for an hour and a half. I got my dress, got my veil, and I was only $42 over budget. And I'm getting my dress, like I've said 50 million times. Fenty and cashew. And I end up getting my dress, like I said. Oh my God, I keep repeating myself. I like lost train of thought, what I was saying. I end up getting a discount on the dress because they were having a sale. I got, I think my dress was originally $17.99 and I got it for 12 something. And then my veil was originally 300 and something and I got it for 198. You guys, I got a bargain. Saved so much money, I can't even. Oh my God, I can't even. I was so excited, but could you imagine if it wasn't on sale? That dress would have been way out of my budget. Another crazy thing is that dress was discontinued, guys. She came back and she's like, I am so sorry. Can you please try on this dress again, but in a smaller size? When do I ever get to say that? That's so exciting. She's like, but can you try this dress on in a smaller size? She's like, because this dress is discontinued, but we have your size. And the one you tried on was a little bit big. So can you try a smaller size? And I'm like, sure. And I tried it on and it fit like a glove. So she's hanging up over here. I will put a picture of the bag. That means guys, I cannot gain weight. I cannot really lose weight because then it won't fit right. But I got my dress. I haven't used Julia's place in a long time. Julius, did I just say Julius place? Juvia's place. I'm gonna use a little bit of this blush. In about two weeks or three weeks, we are going to get the bridesmaids dresses, which is exciting. Um, we, When we went there, I looked at fabric at the end, so that way we can see what the bridesmaids dresses, like the fabric would be like. I'm the type of bride that I'm just like, I want y'all to be comfortable. I want y'all to look fucking fabulous. So pick whatever dress you want. My girls are like semi on. I just gotta set them. My dress is off my checklist, which is nice. We also on vacation, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, I can't remember. We also went to Men's Warehouse and we end up setting up a profile so the groomsmen and all that can go in and um, get their outfits, which is exciting. The groomsmen and Eddie's outfit. We got my dress. We are just moving along, guys. We are moving along. Do you, like, it's so exciting. It's so exciting to like get this off my list, especially cause I really didn't think I was going to find a dress and I found it. I'm going in just with some powdered foundation to set my eyelids because I'm really not going to do any eyeshadow. You guys already know I got this from Amazon. As I was telling you guys, I am getting ready on 4th of July. And why is it that it, it literally rains every 4th of July? Do you guys know that? It rains every 4th of July. Like, why though? I go in with the Morphe highlight. What else can I talk about? I am starting school soon. It's gonna be my last kind of school for a while because I don't want to go into the wedding being in school and have to worry about that bullshit. <laughs> so I am going to let me say sorry guys i am going to just take this last fall semester and then kind of take a break until probably the springtime or probably i might take a year break and go back in the fall not quite sure my wedding is april of next year and i really don't want to be in school at all so i probably will not go back again for another year i'm going in with the white liner I got this from Amazon. Hold on. So I don't know if I want to go in with blue glitter or clear glitter. Like, I think blue would look good, but I am doing a red lip. So we're going to go over it with this silver glitter. And these take forever to dry, so make sure, like, you do not rub it. 
for a while because they take forever. Oh my god, you guys, I've been re-watching because the new season's out and I've already watched it, even though it's only like three or four episodes. Um, Black Mirror. That is such a good show. Crazy the storylines and the like scripts they come up with because fuck technology and just like it's crazy. Also going through my makeup and I forgot how much I used the Jaclyn Hill um, highlight palette. So I want to go in with that. I'm going in with Major Look and Glow Up, which is these two shades right here. I really don't wear highlight, but I'm feeling it today. I'm gonna go over my nose area. Look at that highlight. Like, you can't tell me this is not a good highlight because she is just blossoming. Set my face. I'm going in with two setting sprays. Iconic London, you already know. Too Faced, you already know. And some mascara. This is the Iconic London Triple Threat. So I brought a whole bunch of lashes out here because I don't know which ones I wanna do. But I got these in a pack off of Amazon. I really wanna be kinda dramatic. So I might go in with these. Kinda like these as well, these. Ah! Let's do, the, let's do these. Let's go in with those. This is what this lash looks like. I'm watching the show, you guys. Jenny and Georgia. I'm on season two, and there's only two seasons. It's a Netflix original, I believe. Yeah, I cannot stand Jenny. She is probably the brattiest, the most irrational, the most irresponsible, know-it-all, selfish, self-absorbed, bratty fucking teenager the lead it at that i'm finding it hard to continue because she's so i like i cannot i can't stand watching her <laughs> i'm going back in and doing my bottom lashes like this woman this girl this child makes everything about her her friends will be like i'm going through something i need to be i need you you know to help me well, I'm going through stuff too. You know, my life is so hard. Girl, for once, can it not be about you? Or she sleeps with her best friend's brother and then turns it around and make it her mom's fault because she's saying she acts just like her mom, so it's her mom's fault. Like, it's just, this girl is insane, insane. Like, everything's her mom's fault. And like, her mom, so the premise of the show is Georgia's the mom. Um, she is a southern white girl. She ends up moving out because her stepfather, you learn, was abusing her sexually and physically. Ends up getting with a biker gang who helps her, like, defend herself and kind of get her moving. She ends up meeting this black young hottie, um, and they end up having a baby, and she was only 15, and he was, like, 17 or something like that. He names the babies after the places that she was born, and she was born in Virginia, so her name's Virginia, but they call her Jenny. She ends up having another kid by another guy, um, so she has two kids by two different dads, but she is 30 years old, raising a 15-year-old and a, like, 8-year-old or something like that, and she does whatever she can to protect her children, and her children aka her daughter is highly fucking ungrateful this woman has killed because her last husband was touching jenny in a way that he should not be touching her and so she killed him and jenny's just so fucking ungrateful i can't i'm thinking i want to wear a red lip today i'm going in with the maybelline this is a red lip this is in the shade dancer and this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a little get ready with me type of let's talk, let's catch up type of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know why I wear a white shirt. I got it dirty. It's fine. <laughs> if you guys want to see more looks from me, oh my god, this is pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Happy 4th of July. 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, bye guys. Bye.